Hi everyone, I'm Ellie and I am an intern on the Space Placements and Industry Scheme that is managed by the UK Space Agency and supported by the Satellite Applications Catapult. This is the second video on what the SPIN scheme is about, why I think you should apply and why I love the project that I'm doing. So if you haven't already seen my first video, the first video just explains what the Space Placement and Industry Scheme is, what the application process is like and the benefits behind applying to such an incredible scheme. I've actually been so excited to share this video on, on why I love my project so much and why I think you should apply because I'm still doing my internship now and I've loved every single second of it and I just want people to learn about this experience, learn about the opportunities that are available in the space sector regardless of whether you definitely want a career in the space sector or not. I just want to share my passion for space and the passion for this scheme and why it's such an incredible opportunity that I think so many people should apply for. So if you haven't seen my other video explaining what the space placement and industry scheme is, essentially it's an eight week project over the summer that allows students to work on a satellite or space flight project. And this year I think there were 50 projects, so I was fortunate enough to be one of the 50 to work on a satellite and space flight project, which I can't stop smiling about because it's just been, I've just had such a good time and I can't wait to explain why I love the project so much and why you should definitely apply. So firstly I'm just going to explain what project I'm working on, just a bit of an overview of what I do. So my project is in sensors and atmospheric science, which is so cool. Specifically I am developing a module through Python which is a programming language to take FMCW Doppler radar data from a DRCP and analyse and visualise this with user capabilities. So essentially I'm working on radar data which is so cool because I'm learning so much behind the physics and the maths and then the computational element as well. It's honestly such an incredible project I'm working on and it's also something that I'd never have touched upon in my degree so radars are pretty cool from what I found out in my project and it's been a very enjoyable project but yeah I, I absolutely love it, it's incredible. So that's a bit of an overview on the project I'm working on. But there's only so much I can kind of tell you in the video without I suppose going too in depth on the physics and the maths but that's essentially my project FMCW Doppler radar data from a DRCP and I've got the most incredible supervisor and he's so passionate about radars and just everything that I just I'm having such an amazing time and that's why I just want to create this video to show everyone why you should apply. So now that I've told you a bit of an overview of the project I'm working on, I thought I'd tell you kind of what I get up to on a typical day. So obviously the typical day is a bit different to if I was on Howell campus because unfortunately due to coronavirus the internship can't be held at Howell campus so everything is done remotely. But what I love so much about that is that I'm still getting the exact same amount of support from my supervisor and from the UK Space Agency and from the Satellite Applications Catapult. They've made the internship very easy to say that it's been remote. So in summary, I work six hours every day for five days a week, which is less than what other some other spin turns are, but it just depends on the project. So you might get put on a project that has more hours. Me, I just have six hours. Some I think have seven. But yeah, I, I work six hours a day. And usually every other day I'll have a meeting with my supervisor who again as I've mentioned in the other video is honestly the loveliest man you'll ever meet and he's made the internship so enjoyable for me. These meetings are basically just designed to share my any struggles that I've had with the work that I've been working on for him to explain the next stage of the internship. They're just really enjoyable meetings. It's it's a nice time for us to discuss the suppose the physics and the maths behind the radars and then obviously the computational element as well and my chance to show him the visualizations that I've done. Things like that. It's just it's a nice meeting to I suppose have a catch up. That's that's more of a I guess a, a general term for it, but in terms of the specific it's looking into the actual work that I've done. So in terms of what I actually get up to in terms of my work, I spend a lot of my work on Python. So if you don't know what Python is, it's just a programming language that allows you to manipulate data and, and do a whole load of things. So I'm using Python a lot throughout my days. In fact, I use it every single day and it's just a way to visualize the data that I've been given from the radars, but also manipulate it as well because there are so many mathematical and physical calculations you have to make on the radar data. So there's a lot of Python involved, which I love because I'm exposed to a computational element as well as the maths and physics which is incredible I love that so specifically in Python like I just mentioned it can be things like manipulating the data for a for, from a mathematical approach so doing a mathematical formula on the data but then it can also be visualizing the spectra and the backscatter spectra from the radar data the frequency values that get produced or I can break it down into the backscatter height distribution of the DRCP there's just so much that I can do in Python and so much that I've been able to do over the past few weeks that is just incredible because it's opened me up to so many different 
also areas within the computational element. So learning so many new methods in Python, which I love. So not only do I use Python to do some computational elements and, and manipulations of the data, it's also researching into the physics behind how the radars work. That's honestly been incredible because in a math degree, you don't get given research papers. I suppose that's more of a science type of a, of a degree. You look at research papers, but for me in a math degree, we don't normally get research papers. So it's added such incredible knowledge to my brain. And that's something I'll say is every single day I'm learning something new. So a typical day I'm learning something completely new, whether that's in Python or within the physics of how radars work. Just incredible. And that's what I love so much is that I'm just learning so much. So I guess that's a bit of an overview of what I specifically do. So obviously on a day to day basis, I'll occasionally have meetings with my supervisor, my director, or I'll be left to just get on with my work and then have a catch up meeting the following day. I'll be using Python, which I love. I just love programming in Python, it's, it's incredible. And then learning the physics and the maths behind the project that I'm doing. So there's never a dull moment with my project. Every single day I'm learning something new, I'm enjoying it. And it's one of those jobs that I want to get up in the morning to, to do it because I enjoy it so much. And the people behind the project have made it so enjoyable. The project itself is so enjoyable and so incredible, like the knowledge as I've just said, is incredible. So yeah, like I said, every single day is, is something new, something fresh, something amazing. And that's what I love so much. So a typical day is a very enjoyable one for me, absolutely. <laughs> now, in terms of the benefits of the programme, I did mention all of the benefits that I personally believe the SPIN programme offers in the other video. So if you haven't already seen that video, I definitely recommend just checking it out because I talk about a lot of things from the application process, a bit more about what the SPIN scheme is, and again, I, I talk about the benefit. So I definitely recommend checking out that video if you're interested. So as a final note to this video, I'm just going to tell you why I love my internship so much and why I think you should apply. It's going to be a bit cheesy, I think, because honestly, I just I love my internship so much. I'm going to give you the honest truth. I'm not going to sit back and say I hate it because I don't. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to tell you exactly why I love it. And throughout both these videos, I've tried to be real, be honest and, and tell you exactly what I have found. And I found with a lot of advertising for other internships or jobs, there's always that element of it's not real and it's not true. It's not an honest experience. And that's what I want to get across in these videos is this is my honest experience. I've loved it. I've enjoyed it so much much and I just want more people to apply because, because I want other people to apply for the scheme and enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed it. So as I've touched on before, I love the people I work with. I've met some amazing people. My supervisor, as I've said countless times, is incredible. So the people I've met from the UK Space Agency as well. So I've met Kathy Bowden and she's she's honestly so lovely and then we did the spin induction and I met Gemma from the satellite applications catapult and it's just been amazing to speak to so many incredible people within the space sector. I just can't seem to stop telling you that I love it because I honestly I honestly do and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much is the connections I've made, the people I've met are incredible as I've said and the people have added so much value to this internship for me because everyone has been so lovely and so friendly and everything has been so easy due to such incredible people that support and manage the scheme. So another reason why I absolutely love my internship is because I love what I do. For me, it, I was a bit scared before I started my internship, I'm not going to lie, because it was something new to me, completely new. I It's something I've never touched upon in my degree at all. I came into my internship and the transition in was so easy. The content was made so, so much more understandable due to my supervisor. And honestly, it's just been one of those projects where it sounds so complex and it is quite complex, but the way that I've been taught it and the way that I've researched into it has just made it so enjoyable. And it's made it that, I suppose, a little less difficult. And it's that opening my eyes to areas of physics and math that I never even, I suppose, had even looked at before. It's that there's no sense of repetition in what I do because I learn something new every day, which I absolutely love. Another thing about the spin scheme that I love so much is that enthusiastic the space sector are at introducing new and fresh students into the space sector. And that's been something that's been so apparent throughout is their determination and support to get students into the space sector and not only get them in, but make sure they're enjoying it. So there's always been that backup of ensuring that you're okay throughout your project. And that's what I love so much about, about the SPIN scheme is the amount of support you get with it. And as a final note, on top of everything else that I love about, about my internship, is that it's actually solidified 
my desire to go into the space sector. It's something that I'd always wanted to go into, but I never knew what kind of path to take. And this scheme has honestly given me the reassurance I needed to know that I could go into the space sector if I wanted to. And now it's, it's one of those that I definitely want to go into the space sector now after doing this internship because I've enjoyed it so much. Okay, so why should you apply? So firstly, and I suppose the, the most important one is the experience as I've just touched upon. It looks incredible on your CV and you'll gain such valuable knowledge that will carry you throughout your later studies and your later careers. Also, as I've touched upon countless times, the connections you make are honestly, you'll make some lifelong connections. Another reason to apply is that some of the projects actually offer you a graduate scheme at the end of it. So you can go straight into a full-time job after you graduate. So that alleviates some of the pressure off trying to find a, a, a job in your family final year. That's why I think it's so worth applying because it can potentially set you up for your future. Again, another reason to apply is that you learn so much. I suppose transferable knowledge as well in the sense that if you go into that in, the la in later life, then you've got the knowledge already. And if you don't, you've made some incredible skills in this project. I just think that the SPIN program is honestly one of the best places that you can apply for if you want a career in the space sector. I have loved every second of my internship, as I keep telling you, but I just think the opportunity to work on a a satellite or a space flight project over the summer when ordinarily you wouldn't be doing anything is just incredible and I think it would be ridiculous if you didn't apply. So if you're watching this then go apply for them. If you're interested in space, even if you're not 100% sure, just go apply for it because it's always worth trying it out if you are thinking about it. I just think if you're wanting a job in the space sector or you're considering a job in the space sector, this is the best scheme that you can ever apply for. So I know I've spoken a lot in these videos and, and probably given you a lot of information to take in but as a final note I'll just say that I've honestly loved every second of my internship. From the work that I've been working on to the people I've met it's been an incredible experience. So as a complete final note just apply, just have a look at the projects that are available and see if any suit you and then get ready to apply in January or February. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment. And if you have any questions at all, just comment them down below and I'll answer them or reach out to me on social media and I'll answer them on there as well. But for now, I'll see you all in the next video.